Now we go down there and then go up there. Down there and then up there. That's the uh, Rhododendron Tunnel. Not very far from the bridge. And you see how strenuous this hiking is along the river. Cautious I am. Yeah, I've been here before. There's the takeout loop again and the bridge. <laughs> Ferncliff Trail is up there. You'd never see me from over there, though. Probably too much foliage in the way. All right, so how are we getting by here? back to the water. All right, this gives us a measure of how high the water is down here. Normally we walk right on that. It's all walkable. And here's the uh, eucalyptus tunnel. Or the, uh, look at all these fossils. Wow. I wonder what this means. I wonder if all this is just fossils that have slowly come down over the thousands of years. Fossils, plant fossils all over.
Rhododendum Tunnel. I think not too much further is the motorboat hole. Then we'll call it a day. I cleaned all this out so we can get through here. Going the other way, you can't get through the water. It's too high all year long. I suppose the trail goes up there though. So there might even be a way out up there. Some year I'll check it out. Looks like you could climb out right there if you wanted to. So this is the impassable rock, I call it. I think right over there is motorboat hole. Beautiful, beautiful stick beach here. Yeah, we're free walking for half a mile. All right, so, should I go up there and see where that goes? That would then mean I have another route down here. We'll call this trestle to the impassable rock along the Gakagani River shoreline segment. And let's try to walk out. We're gonna try to walk out to Great Gorge, see what happens. Doesn't look bad at all. Sometimes it's just like rock. You can't even, you know, in no way you're gonna get up over it. Not unless you're way younger and way better hiker than me. Looks like we can get right up there. Again, you didn't want to camp underneath there. You might just be the uh, squished human when the rock decides to crack off. All right, the hike less traveled. I'm not trying to do it all in one go anymore. I'll just do it in parts. How you can get in and how you can get out. So I'm departing from the trail on my way towards Cucumber, stopping at the impassable rock. The little 